up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store. Or I'm looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. You got me feeling uncomplicated. Whatever happens is meant for us. Crushing into all the situations. Whatever happened, we came there first. Go a little wild as your personal expression. Far over the line, tell me we ain't something special. Wrap me around your solar system, make me do whatever that you want me to do. You got me. Hey guys and welcome to another extremely motivational cleaning video. In today's video we are quite literally doing it all. I am cooking, cleaning, homeschooling, taking care of my children and my family, hanging out with them. I'm going to be chatting with you guys today, giving you an update on my teeth, all kinds of things in this video. So I hope that most importantly, it just motivates you to check things off your to-do list, it entertains you, and that you can just truly enjoy hanging out with me in today's video while I try to get as much done as possible. I hope that what I meant by most importantly is that I hope that it's real life and you know, realistic for you while also being motivational. So anyway, welcome to my day. I hope you enjoy me throwing in some more vlog style type clips in this video and let's just get started. Hey guys, so today I thought I would film a little bit of a vlog. My house is trashed, like a complete dumpster fire completely trashed and I need to just spend like the entire afternoon it's actually 3 50 already I just need to clean non-stop until bedtime however I have kids to take care of and I need to cook dinner and I probably need to go to the grocery store so I have a lot that I need to do even though it's 3 50 but I have my fair life protein shake that I like and I'm going to start in the laundry room because getting laundry done always makes me feel like at least we have clean clothes. So we're not a complete disaster around here if my family has clean clothes. But I spent the whole weekend working on some curriculum stuff for homeschooling and there's just some cleaning that needs to be done. And there's some organizing that I've been dying to do. Like I really just want to clean out the fridge. Do you ever feel like that where you just really, really, really want to go clean out the fridge, but you don't have the time for it? So anyway, I want to do some major cleaning today. Um, I actually, I went to the dentist, so I'm going to start working on this laundry. So this shouldn't even be in here, but I went to the dentist today. If you follow me on Instagram, then you might be more aware of the situation but you might have also seen it in the comments um, because some of you stood up for me, which was really sweet. <laughs> um, but someone commented on here in my first vlog that I did a few vlogs back saying, what's wrong with your teeth? And it like shook me. 
it was very hard for me. I think I was just emotional that day, but it's actually a um, insecurity of mine, the teeth issues that I have, and I don't really like to talk about it because I don't want to like bring it up, you know, for people to like. If, I just hope they don't notice it, you know. But I'm insecure about it, and I I know that people must see it. Like I have a gap. So anyway, um, that comment was pretty hurtful to me. <laughs> But it did kind of spur me into thinking, like, I'm going to at least just go to the dentist and get a cleaning. And I don't know what they can do for me as far as my teeth go besides just cleaning it. But you know what? I'm going to at least treat myself, get my teeth clean, take the time. I had my dad. I asked him to watch the little ones. And I took the time to get my teeth cleaned. And I would definitely recommend that. Just a reminder, you're supposed to go, like, every six months to get your teeth cleaned. And I have not been good about that since I've been having kids and everything. I just kind of put all of their stuff first, which I'm sure you moms can relate to, and kind of like taking care of me and my health last. And I'm just realizing that I need a little bit more of a balance of taking care of myself a little bit. So I went to the dentist today, and they basically told me I need veneers. Or they didn't say I need it. But they were just like, you could either get braces to fix the gap. So I have some fake teeth. I don't want to totally go into what happened, but um, I had some medical issues as a kid. And so I have some fake, couple fake teeth. And um, I had braces for like three and a half years as a teenager. But because of these fake teeth, I have a gap. And then I also just have some issues with my front teeth. So um, with the way I smile, I could only, I would only have to get like four veneers. Um, but that's really the only way to fix it. Unless... I could get braces to fix the gap, but then it's not going to fix like some of the issues with my um, teeth. So, like my other teeth. So anyway, um, I really want to do it, but it's a lot of money, and it's hard to, you know, like yeah. we have a big family. We have four kids. You know, there's a lot of expenses. And so, I don't know, I'm going to talk to my husband about it and just see what he thinks. But, yeah, so when you say something like that about someone's appearance, I saw someone, it was so funny, it popped up on Instagram, it was a teacher that teaches their kids, like, do not mention something about someone's physical appearance that they can't change in, like, 30 seconds or less. So, if their shoes are... Oh, okay, don't mess with that. If their shoes are untied or they have something in their teeth that they can just prick out or whatever, you know, let them know. Be a friend, let them know. But you don't like their hair color or you don't like their teeth, like maybe don't bring it up because it might cost thousands of dollars to fix it. Anyway, went to the dentist today, which I was very proud of myself for taking the time to go to the dentist and to check that off my very long to-do list because I always take the kids. They have their regular dentist appointments. They never miss it. I always take them, but I don't take care of myself like I should, you know. So anyway, it's a reminder, take care of yourself as well. But I am going to just quickly do a little bit of laundry. I'm gonna make these burgers from Costco. I'm gonna defrost some of these. These are really nice. 100% grass-fed beef patties, Kirkland brand from Costco. So I'm going to defrost these and make some burgers, maybe some mozzarella sticks for the little guys, um, and we'll just do that for dinner, and then try to spend some time clearing off this kitchen counter that's a total mess cleaning the refrigerator, cleaning the pantry, just cleaning up this like our main living areas instead of like going to the grocery store and all that. So gonna get these going and then clean this kitchen. Looking good tonight. 
It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. And when you're moving, I can hear my calling. There's no one else here that I see but you. It's what you're doing, it's making me feel like I'm falling. Yeah, I'm falling in love. Mm -hmm. Falling in love. You set my wheels. It's crazy to me how dirty things can get in a kitchen when you don't wipe everything down. Like the lamp or the area, that little two-tiered tray. It's just crazy how quickly all of that gets dirty and dusty and yucky and just needs to be wiped down. There are just like crevices and areas in my kitchen that just need to be wiped down down and I can't always get to them you know I'll wipe down the counters like you know the front area of the counters but there's just certain spots I just can't always get to on a daily basis but when I do when I do a clean like this when I can wipe down a few extra areas and I spend a little bit more time on it the kitchen truly does feel so much cleaner you will notice that I don't do the dishes fully like I, I do some I rinse some things off I hand wash a couple of things but for the most part I put them on the right side so we can still use the sink on the left side and I leave them for my sweet husband who usually does them either at night or early in the morning before he heads to work so I truly appreciate him pitching in and helping out the family at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on
I met you We were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us But oh how we got burned Look at us now We scream, we fight And no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -hmm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Normally, we try to eat dinner together as a family. We do our best. At least we do have young children, so the dinner table can be quite crazy. But this night, Henry, my seven-year-old, had soccer practice, so my husband was taking him to that, and we were just kind of all eating whenever we could. So as you guys could see, Carter, my oldest, was just eating his burger straight out of his hobo packet. That's what the recipe that I use calls them. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's just what worked. But we got a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time to chat, which can be difficult when you have a large family. So I still count that as a win, even though we didn't all sit together, down together at dinner, like at the dinner table, like I would prefer to do. We still you know, had some time together, just me and him, which is really special. So, and then I still got to tackle this fridge, which was killing me, killing me. <laughs> I had to get this thing cleaned as soon as possible. So it just really needed a good wipe down, throw away a few things. I feel like I've gotten better about keeping this fridge maintained, but it, it had gotten out of hand. I was falling through the air myself to hold my hand Standing in the shadows of where we have been Sleeping with your back facing me I know, I know, I know this isn't us Baby, pull me closer, let's fall in love
moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one You and me are moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one It felt so good to get that refrigerator cleaned, wiped down, and ready for a few more groceries that I am going to pick up tomorrow. So in this vlog, it's like a two-day clean with me type of vlog, I'm going to show you guys a little grocery haul just because I like to see grocery hauls, so maybe you guys do too. And um, that is going to be filling up that fridge a little bit more. So it felt good to get that tackled before I brought even more food into our home. And these cabinets seriously needed to be wiped down. I really would love to get them repainted at some point. I think that we could do, you know, a little bit of spot treatments here and there, but really I think it just needs to be repainted. Only the bottom cabinets, not the top. And then of course you guys know I really want to put the laminate floor that's in the living room here in the kitchen as well. So in due time we'll do those things. I also want new teeth you know so I want a toilet made out of solid gold you know but it's just not in the cards so anyway let me know if you know what movie I'm referencing with that quote but we are going to at least wipe down these cabinets and then after this in just a moment I am going to work on the pantry a little bit that pantry you guys my toddler gets in there. It's just a problem with toddlers, okay? I have had a toddler for the past like seven years or so because I've had three little ones back to back and yeah, they just get into your pantry and they destroy it. They find a way in there even if you lock it. Like I'm telling you, it's just rough with toddlers. So I know that this is just a season and my little girl will be passing you know, phasing out of the toddler phase <laughs> soon enough, and I'll be a little bit sad about it, but I won't be sad about my pantry always being destroyed. So anyway, it needed some help in general. I can't totally blame her, but she did pull some things out, and then she also left some fruit roll-ups like on the ground and they hardened. So this floor is nasty to begin with, but then those fruit roll-ups had to go. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless
It is the next day and I thought I would show y'all what we got at the grocery store. I just did a grocery pickup. So we are going to quickly go through what we got. I always find these interesting, I don't know. So we got a <laughs> Okay, put that out, put that Three. out, put that out. Okay, so we got... How many times am I going to say this? Okay, so we got sweet potatoes. We got vanilla bean Greek yogurt. We got two things of eggs. We got a nice... Why don't you just get one? We got a nice pineapple. We got some baby spinach. We got some of this sourdough bread. My kids love the Danimals with the birthday cake. They have to have the birthday cake. We got that. I love birthday cake. They love the cinnamon and the waffles. Yes. Yes. They got app. We got apples. I got two kinds. I think one was on sale and the other one we like. So I just got two. And then um, a cucumber. I got some. Avocados. I picked some that would be like I ripe. I avocado. I picked some that would be ripe and some that aren't. And then we got. Okay, go eat your fries. I'm gonna take them away. Um, <laughs> some diced green chilies. Some green beans. Apple. Uh, I think this is a zucchini, or is this the, okay, Jack, go sit, please. Yeah, I think this is the zucchini and squash. Cool. And then we got, we got blue? salmon. Yeah. Lots of ground beef for hamburger helper is something, we got two things in hamburger helper, that's something my teenager likes. And, and then we also like to eat ground beef and green beans. And then I got two of these chicken thighs with the bone and the skin. I think it just tastes better, so I like to make this on the stove. So I got two of those with a big old thing of rice to make with it, and then probably like the zucchini and squash. Got some asparagus. We like to have that with our salmon. Some bananas. Two things of organic, 2% milk. Um, I showed you guys the hamburger helper and then a bunch of enchilada sauce for making like um, chicken enchiladas I guess, mm -hmm. and then some of this good culture cottage cheese. I'm going to try to start eating cottage cheese because I hear it's really good for you so I'm going to try this. I want to And we got this. this. Yeah, I'll we'll show them that in a minute. Then I feel like this. raspberries. Uh, some corn tortillas. Two things of the thick cut bacon. These, my kids absolutely love these. So we got an ATB pickup and then we also went into Walmart. We also went into Walmart Market real quick. So I'll let them see that in just a second, baby. So they had to have these. These are like little, those frozen popsicles you probably had as a kid. Okay, and then at ATB they also got these little guys. So we went inside and she got that. Henry got his. Jack, where's yours? Yay, right here. Yeah, that's your yoke. Right here. Come here, Jack. And Jack got this one. I right. can see. And then Henry got this one. I thought you were about to carry me. Okay. Yeah. And then. A neighborhood Walmart. We also got stuff to dye eggs for Easter. I got some markers to put in their, you know, we homeschool to put in their uh, pencil bags. They just needed some markers for school. So. And then some rubber bands. This we're gonna make guitars today. That's like a part of our curriculum is to make like a guitar out of a box. So I got thinner ones and thicker ones. Yeah. Glue and box tape for the guitar. And then, of course, dun 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 dun! LaCroix! <laughs> they were having a sale on the Croy, so I got two, one free. So I'm obsessed with sparkling water. I'm a big drink girly. Um, I also got LaCroix. This kombucha. 
from H-E-B that's really good. The blackberry vanilla is a flavor that I like. Henry tried it. He didn't love it, but um, I liked it. And Jack got a prime. Charlie got a juice. And then we got Chick-fil-A for lunch. So that's how things are going. So the teenager. <laughs> absolutely true. <laughs> All right, so Carter got chicken sandwich, Diet Coke. Only one chicken sandwich. Only one. Wow. I only got one, so How grateful know. these children are. Jack, are you grateful? You gotta yes. mention stuff like that. Yes. Hey. Like I am. Um, let's go. Are you grateful? I am. Let's go. What was your guy's name, Henry? Um. Meadow. Meadow, yeah. Well, my yours was Pip, I think. Or Yip. I think it's Yip. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm not overweight. I'm 70 pounds. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Just trying to mention things. <laughs> okay, this is the chaos. That is my uh, all right, so after all that fun, it is time to put all the groceries away. So I am going to do that while Carter makes some hamburger helper. He was very excited. Um, <laughs> he did kind of burn it a little bit, so we were laughing about that. He is learning about cooking, and he's made this plenty of times and has not burned it, but today, for some reason, he burned it. So anyway, we were just hanging out. This is a day that he is home with us. He does go to like a private homeschooler school twice a week, but he was home with us this day. So we always love those days the most and just get extra time to spend as a family. And then we had some homeschooling to get to. Henry decided to put on his rollerblades. So, you know, why not? Why not, right? <laughs> Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotion Sometimes I'm the lighting You wanna pick a fight with That's going to be muted and fast forwarded. Joke's on you. Oh, dang. I just hope you've been through worse. Sometimes I'm broken. Too much of emotion. Sometimes I'm the lighting. Don't want to pick a fight with. Yeah, Charlie's like, what's the safe zone? And then Henry's like, 
Are you my little artist? Hi, Mama just recorded teasing. Alright, Mama just recorded teasing. Come here. Okay. 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 Let's put it on here, Carter. Okay, that's why I don't blame for like. Are you stirring uh, it? Actually, stirring it occasionally. So the difference Periodically. Periodically. Okay. Okay. here. Uh. <laughs> Occasionally. Okay. So the difference between occasionally and constant yeah. is constant is like I never stop. I never yeah. said constantly. I said periodically. Period. <laughs> <laughs> now look, it's been about two minutes. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, it's all stuck to the bottom. This is bad. This is not good. Why don't they say constant? This has been going well. <laughs> pull it, baby. Mom, will you pull my little guy? Bring it to the table. Will you pull my little guy, Mama? You had him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get your handwriting and sit down. Okay. I don't know, Jack. In between homeschooling and, you know, correcting and all of that fun stuff, we are attempting to clean and pick things up, but we had some work to get done, so the boys are just sitting down to do that. Carter, my oldest, he does some online classes, so he goes upstairs to his room where it is quiet and he can think because he's taking you know difficult classes like algebra and geometry and chemistry and everything and he needs to be able to think and with the little ones you know that can be difficult so he goes upstairs to do that while the little guys get to their work Jack, you got your Spider-Man pin? It doesn't say anything. Spider-Man. It doesn't say anything. From GameStop and from HEB. That's right. <clears throat> oh, that's a wonderful it's scene, a Henry. Jack trying to hide under the tree. To write on. Can I take the paper out? Like half of that? Uh, does it have something on the other side? Turn it to the next page, see if it has something on the other side.
All right, so after getting some schoolwork done, we always have to do some tidying up. And then I try to focus on some problem areas in my home. As I said earlier in this video, my house is pretty trashed. The kids have toys strewn everywhere and there was just some definite tidying that needed to be done. So I focused on that. I had the little ones cleaning some upstairs off camera and we're all just working together to get this house back in order as best we can. That is brightening my day is this little box here. So we're gonna open it up. Do you want to know what homeschool moms get excited about? You're about to find out. Can you tell what this is? Comment down below if you can tell what this is. Yeah, it's a laminator. <laughs> and I am. Um, so excited, so, so excited. It came with a few sheets. That's nice. It was on a good deal on Amazon. It was like on sale, had good reviews. I'll link it below for you guys. I don't know if it's still on sale. But my laminator, because of course I already have one, it bit the dust. Henry's birthday party, like a, over a year ago, I was laminating things to make Pokemon cards and um, that they had made and of course my laminator broke. So this one I like because I think it'll take up less space because, how does it lay? It lays like this, yeah. So, I don't know, it just seems like very thin and you just kind of push it in and it just comes out as opposed to being like up high like my other one is and then it goes like that. Anyway, it also has this fancy doohickey here which who knows if I'll ever use, but that's nice. And then it did come with a few laminating sheets, which I appreciated. Um, so like, I don't know what this is either. Oh, I feel like it's for cutting it. Oh, that's probably what this is for. But anyway, it's been a long day and I'm exhausted and it's just, you might hear Charlie whining and crying. He's not in bed yet. Henry's at soccer practice. And I'm just gonna get this bad boy firing up and um, start laminating some stuff after I get Charlie down for bed in like 30 minutes. And I'm very, very excited about it. So this is my idea of like a fun evening. I did not get to the living room, cleaning the living room in this video, and I don't think I'm going to because I mean, it's, there's not much comparatively, like, there's not a lot to do in there, but, um, I just don't think I'm going to get to it tonight. I'm too tired. I've got other things to do. Other things calling my name. Oh, one other thing is calling my name. This bad boy. Look at that sucker. This is Home Education by Charlotte Mason. Yes. That is a highlighter. I've already started reading this. It just came. And with the laminator, lots of exciting stuff coming from Amazon today. Um, and so it's like, obviously it's on home education. Charlotte Mason is huge in home education and everything. And so I've already started laminating some stuff from this book. 
it's hard like it's, it's a tougher read it's not you know an easy read and it's long but there are just so many little nuggets of just like yes yes so <laughs> i'm very excited about this too so anyway i'm gonna end this video here now you know guys know how nerdy i truly am so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i really appreciate you hanging out with me for the past couple days i'll see you next time bye